lounging, son. Welcome back to the Comic Lounge. My name is Ryan, and today I'm going to be talking about a really dope Conan the Barbarian comic by Saad Rivich. But before I get into that, I just want to remind everybody, if you are not already subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and, you know, check out some of the other dope content we have on the channel. We got interviews, we go through artist editions, we go through single issues, we go through hardcovers, indie creators, spotlights, all that good stuff. So hit that subscribe button. Now let's get into this issue. This was a one-off, just a one-shot. It's basically a wordless comic for the most part. And the only words that are in here... I can't read because it's in another language. So um, it's a beautifully, beautifully illustrated comic book. I love Asad Rivich. I probably, I would say his work on Thor uh, was what I think I discovered him on first uh, that he did with Jason Aaron. Uh, he went on to do that Secret Wars miniseries with Jonathan Hickman. And he does stuff, you know, here and there, but just an amazing artist just such a great idea to have him do. Like, I can't think of anybody better to do uh, a Conan comic book. And, you know, he does just his colors are amazing. I love this. You know, we get the this quote from the the, the Nemedian Chronicles. No, O Prince, that between the years when the oceans drank Atlantis and the gleaming cities in the years of the rise of the sons of Arius, there was an age undreamed of when shining kingdoms lay spread across the world like blue mantles beneath the stars hither came Conan the Sumerian, black-haired, sullen-eyed, sword in hand, a thief, a reaver, a slayer with gigantic melancholies and gigantic mirth to tread the jeweled thrones of the earth under his sandaled feet. Perfect way to jump into this. And so, as we jump into this, you know, Samaria, frozen land in the north, home to the toughest of climates and even tougher people. After 15 winters, the man known as Conan set forth from his homeland to see the world for the first time. Growing up in Samaria honed his survival skills, but even Conan could not be prepared for what awaited him across the lands of the Hyborian Age. The story of his journey would stand as a reminder to Conan even decades later about the fierceness of nature and the cruelty of people, but the tale of his excursion has never been told. This is that story. So, you know, he's making his way out of Samaria for the first time, and he's alone. He's traversing this world with, you know, nothing but his wits about him. Just getting to see the different landscapes, the different, you know, the different uh, elements that we're seeing. You know, he's in the snow, he's fighting off against these wolves, and he kills one, and he just eats it raw. I mean, it's very visceral. The rest of the pack runs off. And so Conan continues to make his way, but then, you know, another one comes and attacks him, kills that one, and he continues on. And we just see, you know, the wolf tracking him, which is really cool. And now he's, you know, again, whatever he can to survive. And these wolves just keep tracking him to basically what, I mean, I'm taking as to get revenge. And I love how they lock eyes right here. Conan just locks eyes with this wolf. It's just beautiful. Just the, the amount of, you know, work that, you know, Saad Rivich puts into this. His storytelling, with, you know, to tell a story visually with no words to kind of guide you. In your, in your experience and to just, you know, take the reader on a journey visually and you're left to kind of fill in, you know, the blanks and like what the character's thinking, especially when it's just a singular character and there's nobody he's interacting with except animals. But you can kind of get this like feel for his, how he feels about what's going on around him. And you can see how young he is. He's not quite as like yoked out as he becomes later on. Then we get this cougar attacking him, mountain lion. And even he won't mess with Conan because he locks eyes with him. And he you know, decides he's going to slink off. Just kills the rat. Again, eating it raw, continuing to... Again, we're seeing so many different elements of, of land here. And I love this. He's like the look in his eyes as he sees water and just fucking ducks his whole body in there to drink. And the bear comes, comes to attack him and he takes the bear out. The savagery of of which with which Conan uh, has in this with you know towards the animals no fear just keep, keeps going keep taking on then makes his necklace out of the bear of the bear claws and then as he comes he starts to see a village on fire and then he what does he do he takes up the armor takes the horse now he's gonna have a little bit of help and doesn't have to keep walking this land I love how he sneaks in here just to you can get some milk to drink and then we see this. Warrior come upon him. Conan fights him. But th these don't seem quite as easy to 
take care of as the animals are. He slinks back to the horse, bloodied. And the horse basically takes him away to safety. And he just, you can just see the weight of like just not having any energy, just being completely drained. And what do they do? These soldiers take him upon and they tie him up to this, to these pillars with his arms outstretched. And then you see this look in his eye and you know shit's about to go down. He's not going to fucking take this lightly. The light goes out and then you see his head slump. And then we wait. Then we, we awaken the next day and the soldier that tied him up has now been stabbed. And we see the, you know, one of these, you know, I don't know, clerk type characters coming and sees Conan has escaped. And we end with a bloodied Conan with his sword on his side, staring at us, the reader. And then from there, you can just, you know, you know exactly what happens with Conan's story as he goes forward and all the different amazing Conan stories that have taken place, you know, post this event in his life. And I like this, the bloody highlight denotes the regions explored in this issue. And that's all he traveled throughout. Get some really cool behind the scenes, all his loose thumbnails, which to me, like, they're loose, but some of these are pretty, pretty damn detailed. And I love that we get to see the entirety of the story laid out here. And it's a preview for the Conan book, like I said, that, uh, you know, Jason Aaron was right. He did a 12 issue run that was coming out during the same time as this. And I know that was a quick one. Um, I just, I had to, I had to get this on. I, I wanted, you haven't discovered this yet. You know, I just wanted to make sure I was turning people on to some really dope comics. So go pick this up. Easy to find. Make sure you like, follow, subscribe, hit that bell icon so you're notified every time a new vid drops. And on that note, I'm out.